Hello, welcome to Prism Technologies. I am Venkat. This is part 103 of ASP.NET video series. In this session, we'll discuss about redirecting users from HTTP to HTTPS using IIS error pages. In a previous session, we discussed about redirecting users using the URL rewrite module. So within IIS, when we expand the server node and then sites and then the default website, we have this web application one. At this application level, we have actually specified the URL rewrite rules. So if I search for URL rewrite, and select that so we have the rule here so because of this rule if I fire up a browser and then if I try to navigate to HTTP colon for slash for slash you know I'm using the HTTP um, protocol to access this web application one so if I press enter it's going to automatically redirect me to HTTPS and that's because of this specific rule that we have in IIS so let's go ahead and delete this now so as soon as I delete that rule from IIS for that web application, now let's restart the server just to make sure. So we have restarted the IIS server. Now let me go ahead, copy that URL, and then fire up another browser instance and paste that URL, change HTTPS to HTTP. I press enter. Look at that, I am able to access uh, this application using HTTP protocol. Now we don't want that. We don't. We want the users to be automatically redirected to HTTPS protocol. Okay, let's see how to do that using custom error pages. And custom error pages can be set at the server level or at a specific application level in IIS. Now if you set the custom error pages at the server level, these are applicable to all the web applications running on that server. Obviously, you can override those settings at specific application level as well. In this demo, we'll be discussing about setting the custom error pages at the server level. And there are three very simple steps to do that. Step one, make sure require SSL option from SSL settings is checked for your web application in IIS. So flip to IIS. So this is my web application one. In a previous session, you know, when we redirected users from HTTP to HTTPS automatically, we have actually set this require SSL option you know to uncheck we unchecked this so that when the user uh, uses HTTP protocol you know he don't get any error he will be automatically redirected because of that URL rewrite rule but if we want to redirect the users automatically using error pages then we want to raise that error so I'm going to check this require SSL and apply that so as a result of this change, what's going to happen if a user tries to access my application using the HTTP protocol, I'm going to get an error. Because why? With an IIS, we said the application requires SSL you know, to, to access this application. Okay, but then the user is trying to access the application using HTTP protocol, so we get this error 403.4. And notice the error code 403.4 because we will be using this error code later when we actually want to redirect the user using the custom error page. Okay, so that's the first step. What's the second step? Create an HTML file that does the redirection. So this is where the redirection happens. Okay, so within the HTML file, we need to copy and paste the HTML that looks like this. Now, this is a bit of HTML and JavaScript code. So I have HTML head and then title. Within title, you know, we have given it a meaningful title, redirecting to HTTPS. And then look at that. After the closing of the head tag, we have a script tag there. This JavaScript, this piece of JavaScript that you can see here. This is the JavaScript function that is actually doing the redirection. So script type is equal to text slash JavaScript, language is equal to JavaScript, and then we have the function itself, redirect HTTP to HTTPS. That's the JavaScript function. And look at this, we have two variables here. The first variable, the HTTP URL. So when I type in a URL like this, HTTP colon, let's copy and paste that in a notepad. So if I have a URL like this, now this one is nothing but the host name, and this is the path name. Okay, so we want to retrieve the host name and the path name. And we are doing that using this JavaScript function. Okay, look at that. Vendor.location.hostName. That will give me, you know, this host name. And then Vendor.location.pathName will give me the rest of the path. 
okay and then what we are doing we are basically concatenating both of them so we basically get you know this piece okay so whatever you see there you know this piece we get because of this expression that we see there and then what we are doing there we are concatenating that with https colon four slash four slash using a plus sign so as a result of the second line here we will actually get https colon four slash four slash look at the URL now the HTTP URL we have actually converted that to HTTPS URL and then finally we are setting window dot location is equal to that URL which is nothing but this one the HTTPS URL so the user will be automatically redirected to HTTPS okay look at this that's the function definition and then we are actually invoking that function redirect HTTP to HTTPS okay so the script this function gets called when this page is executed and then the user will be automatically redirected to HTTPS URL so let's you know save this file as an HTML file so I have this JavaScript code you know the HTML and the JavaScript function in a notepad so I'm gonna click control s to save that and then I'm gonna save that in C drive so C colon backslash inet pub so I'm gonna save that in inet pub I'm gonna give it a meaningful name maybe I'll call this redirect to HTTPS I'm gonna save that as dot htm select all files dot star uh, so I'm gonna save that so I've saved that within C colon inet pub so that's the second step what's the final step the final step is basically in IIS set the error page okay so we know that now at, at, the, at the moment if we try to access the application using HTTP protocol we get this error and then we also have an HTML file which will automatically redirect the user if that file is accessed so now for this status code you know we want to set okay execute the file that we have just created in C colon backslash inet pub so within this we want to exit we want to set this as the custom error page for this status code 403.4 and we want to do that in IIS okay so within IIS I will select the server because I'm I'm gonna set that at the server level and then I'm gonna search for error pages so within IIS I have error pages double click that to open the feature and I have 404 but what do we want we want 403.4 so within IIS we have 403 and 404 error status code but I want it for 403.4 so I'm gonna add an, er an error status code here so it's 403.4 and what do I want to do I want to execute a file that's present in C colon backslash inet pub and if you remember the name of the file is redirect to https.htm so that's the file which I want to get executed okay so I'm gonna click OK on that so we have set an error status code so now what happens for this status code this file gets executed you know C colon 9 at pub backslash redirect to https.htm but then another thing that we have to do here is edit feature settings now look at this these are the uh, settings of the IIS now if you say custom error pages here what's gonna happen for you know on the local machine if you access the site either on the local machine or remotely the custom error pages will be shown which means you know this error page will be shown okay on the other hand if I say detailed errors both when you access the application locally or remotely in in both the cases then you're gonna get uh, you know the actual detailed error messages like this and we don't want this kind of error messages to be shown to the end users and if you say detail errors from local requests but custom error pages for remote requests if I access the application locally I'm gonna get this page instead of the custom error page but then if we want to really test this I have to choose custom error pages okay and then again we have to specify the path here so that's going to be in our C drive so C drive inet pub and the name of the file is going to be redirect to so let's change that to you know the same path c colon backslash inet pub backslash redirect to https.htm I'm gonna click OK that's it we are done now 
let's go ahead and try to access this one now look at what's gonna happen I press enter look at that I'm automatically redirected to HTTPS so in the previous session we discussed about redirecting users using the URL redirect module in this session we discussed about using the um, custom error pages in IIS and that's the JavaScript function and HTML which is doing the required work for us on this slide, you can find resources for ASP.NET, C Sharp, and SQL Server interview questions. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.